Hello, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on how to use Windows Journal to record uh, and capture notes uh, that you would like to draw on the PC as an alternative to other annotation tools or the whiteboard. In the Kate Studio, if you go to Start, All Programs, Accessories, and then Tablet PC, you'll find Windows Journal. If you click on that, open it up, You'll see you'll get a notepad looking like tool that you can just immediately start writing on. You can do lots of things like change uh, your pen settings. So you can go to a fine point or very fine point. You can get very detailed. These are just some presets that come with Windows Journal. You can change detailed pen settings by going to pen settings. Under here, it allows you to change color. You have everything under the sun. You can do hot pink if you want. You can create a custom color if you want. You can also change how fine you want it to be, uh, different tip styles. You can also use highlighters as well. And you can do that by clicking the highlighter button. It'll allow you to highlight things, and you can change the highlighter color, you can change thickness, just like you would with the pen tools. And you can get more detailed settings under highlighter settings. You can also, if you uh, click the erase button, erase things, or if you flip the pen around and use the erase side of the pen, you can erase it as well. This is a feature that's usually not available in other annotation tools. If you'd like to reference your notes later, um, let's put something on here. You can save your notes. So in this case, we'll save it to the desktop here. And then it'll be available on the desktop for later use. You can also, if you'd like to have multiple windows up at the same time, say you're working on two uh, different subject areas, say you're working on various types of uh, calculus problems. Um, for example, in one window, you could first start off by doing some notes on teaching students about differential equations or derivatives, etc. And then another window, start talking about how to take the volume of a surface or volume of a sphere or a uh, cube, etc. And then use the other window to reference your notes. Excuse my poor drawing of a cube. Uh, use the other window to reference your notes on your calculus equations and derivatives, etc. And then you can flip between them just like you would managing another window. You can keep them both up at the same time, etc. You also notice that when you save the note, it's given a label in the taskbar. So we can save this. Give it a name. And once you save it, you'll see in the taskbar that it has that label that you has the same label as the, what you named it. So then you can switch between the two quite easily that way. You can also, if you don't like the default uh, notepad look, you can go to File, and then New Note from Template. And this gives you a whole range of different templates you can use. Um, you can go to uh, Graph Paper if you want, and start drawing graphs. Again, excuse my uh, poor drawing skills. Etc. You can go to oops, new note from template and then do uh, say you want to do music and get musical notations, etc. So that's all I have for this quick demo. Please feel to free to contact help at kate, C-A-E-T-E, dot colorado, dot edu. 
uh, if you need any assistance or have any questions. Thanks for watching.